What is up, everybody? It is your man, DGL, for DGL Army, on Twitch for YouTube. And it has been a while since I've done any videos. Um, I am aware that I have missed, uh, the triple 15s, you know, 15 moves that are, or 15 games that are 15 moves on the 15th. I've been, uh, having a bit of family issues here, so that kind of interrupted my video scheduling. I did prepare something for that. But, you know, obviously that didn't work out. Check. But, you know, that's the only one I plan on missing, right? <laughs> anyway, um, now that I'm back for the moment, Check. recording some stuff, I thought, Check. let's get on ICC and continue ICC Spotlight. We have International Master Sir John. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his real name. I'm sure you can see it in the, t um, in the title, of Check. course. As people know, Check. I am horrible at pronouncing names. Check. He has two GM norms, I believe, if I remember right. So a very Check. strong player and a very strong bullet player. So let's see what he can do. Check. 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 White forfeits on time. Oops. Window adjustment here. Sorry about that. So yeah, sorry about missing the triple 15s, you know. What can you do? I'm sure we all have had things that interrupted what we plan on, you know. What can you do? Stuff like that happens. But I am back now, as I said, clearly. I mean, I'm making a video, you know. I'm actually out of town at the moment, um, visiting some family, trying to clear some stuff up, because, yeah, well, <laughs> maybe some people in my family aren't the brightest people ever. Don't tell them they said that, but anyway. I'm here to help them out, because I am nice like that. <laughs> anyway, enough about my family, because who wants to hear about that, right? Let's get down to the chess. White playing c4, or c5, excuse me. Oh, that's a great start right there, butchering squares now. <laughs> After this game, I want to make sure the audio is okay. I am streaming this at the moment. So, yeah. Hopefully the window is okay. Feels like forever since I've done one of these videos. Everything feels a little strange. Got to get back into the video making groove. That's a nice move. Picking up a pawn. Hmm. Alright. But White does have his past C pawn to work with. Hmm. I think it's a bit easier to play this as White. The white player here, Grandmaster White Hero, who I did consider covering, but he decided to go AFK, um, which means away from keyboard if you're not internet lingo, you know, fanatic Black or whatever. Forfeits on time. So he probably went and got a sandwich or, I don't know, said hi to his wife or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean. So I had to find somebody else, and Sir John playing... I thought, all right, let's just do him. Anyway, white dropping the knight back to d2. Black declining any trades. Bit of space grabbing. Black could consider going queen side here. Queen c7, castle long, rook a to g8, etc. Try to bust open the g file, but it doesn't appear that's what he is going for. Or maybe. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Not now. I'm actually rather liking white here with the strong knight on g5. Yeah. Okay, maybe Check. take on e3 now. Maybe black has solved a couple of his problems. The f6 pawn is a thorn. But very annoying. Knight g4 maybe. Okay, no more knight g4. Time is roughly even at this point. So, yeah. Oops. Sorry Check. about that. Check. Anyway. 20 seconds each. It does appear that the Black Queen is infiltrating. Briefly. Well, not briefly. You know. Check. Look at the Queen on B3. That's not brief at all. 15 seconds roughly each. Place your bets. Who do you like? The knight on e7 is very strong, combined with the f6 pawn. 
Yeah. Hmm. Check. I don't think... I mean, White can't Check. dodge a million checks here. Check. Hmm. Pre-move time. Check. Maybe White should have gone for the Queen trade. It's a bit easier to pre-move. Three seconds each. No. Ouch. Oh. Pre-move time. Check. I think Black will manage. Check. 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 White forfeits on time. Ah. Uh, brutal. Brutal stuff. So hopefully, I'd make, I'm going to make sure I followed him. Give it a couple seconds. And if he doesn't um, keep playing, I'll just find somebody else. And this... <laughs> okay, cool, he's still playing. Alright, awesome. Against... What is it? Skunk Waft? Skunk Waft. Oh, man. You know, you'd think I'd be better at English, but... <laughs> I'm not dyslexic, but I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, 2100, not bad at all. On the one minute auto pairing for the Team Black here. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Black King is in a rather peculiar, peculiar position on F8 but perhaps claiming that he has attacking chances on the queen side against the white king. White pushing his king side pawns. F5 has an idea coming. F5, G6. Hmm. Interesting stuff. And I meant to check the audio. Oops. <laughs> Which I should have done. That's okay. I'll check right after this game. Offering the bishop trade. Okay. I think uh, White has survived the worst of any attack. Queens are off. Now the placement of the Black King is starting to affect him, I, I assume. Black trying to get his pieces a bit more active. Rook h4 is very creative. And, ooh, here we go. What do we have here? Crazy yeah. stuff. Check. Check. Anyway. White a little down on the clock. Okay, I think this is a pre-move battle. White is objectively Check. winning. Check. Who can break out the pre-moves the fastest? Get rooks off. Get the rooks off. Take on uh, E4 and take on Check. F2. What are you doing? White forfeits on Oh, time. man. Brutal. Maybe there was some lag there or something? I don't know. Strange pause there. Adjust this just a bit. Anyway. Good game. We have an international master from Germany, I believe, here. Playing. And I've... Okay, I need to check the audio. Just give me a second. Let me pop this up. Strange pause there. Adjust this... Okay. Thank you. I needed to check that, just to make sure there was some sound coming in. Because if there wasn't, then you would just be hearing nothing and just seeing pieces moving and would wonder, well, you know, what's this guy talking about? There's no kibitz or whatever. <laughs> you know. Anyway. All right. Fun stuff. Very cool. It's nice to be back doing some videos of some sort. Check. Especially after all the commotion I've been having this past few weeks with uh, Queen G6. Queen G6. Oh. Queen G6 was there. Queen G6. King G8. King H8 and Knight F7 would have won. Was missed. Oh, man. But yeah, it's been a hectic few weeks Check. as I breathe into my mic by accident. Sorry about that. Okay. Check. Black's king is in Check. rough shape here, to say the Check. least. Ooh. Ouch. That hurts. Check. Check. There goes a knight. Check. Resigns, probably. Check. Check. Ooh, pick Check. off. Mate. Ah. And this window keeps adjusting. It's rather annoying. Check. Sorry about that. Okay.
I'm rather biased here towards Black's position because I quite often employ these kinds of setups. But I don't like losing in exchange. <laughs> nice play by White there. Also getting on the light squares quickly. I rather like what White has done with that Queen G6. Now maybe a Rook lift, Rookie, rookie 3 maybe. Okay. Oh, F3, I like that even better. Check. Just trying to open up the files. Nice stuff, I like it. But the F3 pawn is a bit of a concern. Does appear white managed to handle it. <clears throat> Alright, we have the... In oh, Check. nice. Knight F2 was protecting the queen there. Okay, so we have a rook ending with white a couple seconds up on the clock. A4 is a nice move. <clears throat> also declining the rook ending. Check. Interesting. Two connected past pawns that are pushing fast. Check. Wow. See, this is why you're supposed to study your rook end game, rook end games, right? <laughs> you know, rook end games are useful. <laughs> Check. Anyway, get a queen, and the game is White over. Resigns. Very nice. Good stuff. I'm gonna make sure I followed him again because I'm always paranoid that I didn't. <laughs> Good stuff. Good games. Very nice. I like it. Anyway. Give it a couple seconds to see if it keeps playing. Cool. <clears throat> okay. So we have some sort of ready opening here, with the knight going to a4, b3 maybe, maybe that's a bit too weakening, trying to get on the c4 square, hmm, well, if I was white I'd be a bit, <laughs> a bit nervous of the past d-pawn that black has here, but I'm pretty sure white has everything under control for the moment. Bishop a5, nice move. Hitting the queen. Alright. F4, gaining space. Very aggressive. Kind of uh, kind of a dynamic move there. It's pretty pretty nice. Interesting at the very least. Keep in mind pawns do not move backwards. <laughs> So there is a lot of space behind those pawns that the king is on, maybe making him a bit weak. But for the moment, I don't see any way for black to get there. Hmm. Okay. What a position, right? Look at this. <laughs> Queen g6. Check. There we go. Checkmate. Nice. Good game. Very cool. Really good stuff. And is the white player moving? Okay. <laughs> Giving a 10 second handicap, maybe? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Alright. So we have a Sicilian. I've been um, looking at the Sicilian con lately for um, over the board chess considering it um, to be my new weapon against e4 I'm not so sure yet but it's what I'm looking at at the moment Sicilian con there's some really dynamic openings in that I'll be right back
Sorry about that. There was a knock at the door. I have to go, guys, because I have some business Check. to attend to. I'll see you guys around. Thanks, Check. and I'll see you guys later.